Hey guys, this is Halion. I'm here again with another video guide, and this time we're going to talk all about the spear. We're going to talk about what hammers we think are best, what boons we think are best, and just generally how I think uh, we should be playing the spear to get the best win that we can, and just hopefully guarantee that win at the same time with each different aspect on the spear. Uh, just keep in mind that this is, of course, just my opinion, and there's many different ways to play Hades and even just play the spear on itself. So don't feel like you're doing anything wrong. If you like to play it a different way and it works well for you, just go for it, you know? Uh, so first, we're just going to quickly go over the moveset that we have with the spear here. So you have a basic attack here. You can see hits for 25 on the first and 30 for the, for the second and third combo hit. All right, so next up we have the spin. And the spin is actually a pretty difficult move to get going here. So there's a slight secret tech I can show you with it here. So you charge up a full spin, right? Before you unleash it, you can actually dash. So I'm just I'm just holding down the attack button here. I hit the dash button. That's all you have to do. It unleashes at the end of your dash there. That is probably the best way that you can use the spin. You can do half spins. You can do, I think, even quarter spins sometimes, depending. There you go. And you can get the full spin here. Uh, we're going to go more into the spin later, but I'm going to tell you right now, unfortunately, it is pretty difficult to get a full good spin build going with the spear, I'm going to say. It's one of the tougher mechanisms in the game that to really get a good win just by utilizing the spin as your foremost move. Uh, lastly, we just have the special move here. Um, th so this is one where you can get it very, very powerful with certain hammers that we're going to go over. But on the base, it's actually very, very weak here. I do have Zagger's aspect on right now, just so you know, but it looks different depending on the aspect that you're using. Um, so the base here, unfortunately, is, is very weak. Uh, you really need a good hammer to get it going except in a couple examples I'm going to show you. Well, I guess one last thing we can do is the dash attack. The dash attack, while it does less damage than the regular attack, it is actually very nice because if you just look at the look at the flare-up at the end here, right? Look at the, look at the range on that. It's, it's actually really nice. There's some hammers that make this do work really well. Um, similar to our sword overview, I would say generally, when at least when you're running out of the gate here and you just have maybe an attack boon, you kind of mostly want to be using dash attacks mostly. Just kind of keeping your distance and stuff like that here. Anyway, let's hop into the aspects, okay? All right, so we're just going to go down the list here. We're going to start with Zagreus aspect. And uh, after we go through all the aspects and just sort of how you'd want to play with each of them, we're going to go over the hammers. And then uh, we're going to discuss some boons at the end that you might want. And I'll also be discussing boons as we go. Uh, so Zag aspect. Um, unfortunately, like with most of the Zag aspects uh, that we have for the weapons, is sort of very has a very narrow space here right so it only upgrades your special so 25 percent more special damage special range special speed it does nothing for your attacks does nothing for your spins so if you're going to use it that's what you want to that's what you're going to use right well kind of like what i just said the special on its own is unfortunately quite weak um you have to get a good daedalus hammer upgrade to make this work well and there's really only two or three that work well unfortunately with this and so because of that and you're you're because you're so dependent on that hammer and you can't really uh, manipulate what hammers you're gonna see i feel like the zagreus aspect is actually quite weak uh we'll go over what hammers actually make it good but otherwise it's just not a great aspect to use in general i'd say it is cheap uh titan's blood still so at least there's that it has that going for it and uh, there are definitely some fun hammer builds that you can get going with it, but I would save your blood for one of the other aspects here with the spear, personally. Next up is Achilles Aspect. After your, your special, you can retrieve your spear with a Raging Rush. Your post-rush bonus damage is 150%, so that damage affects your attacks and your casts. It does not affect your special damage, just to be clear. So what, what does it mean? What is it talking about, like, post-rush? What, what does Raging Rush mean? So, first of all... Um, with Achilles Aspect on, you can charge your special like that. And that is mostly to uh, gain control over where your special, like where your spear lands, because that's actually very important here. Um, because when you hit uh, your special button again after your spear lands somewhere else, that's what happens. It's sort of, it's, you can kind of look at it as an extra dash potentially. It adds a little bit more movement to what you're doing. So you can utilize it for that. It's actually quite nice. So you can see Zagreus now has sort of this little lightning uh, animation floating around him. 
when that's on, that means that your next, uh, our next attack or cast is going to be more powerful. So, boom, our, our attack deals 63 damage there now instead of the base, which is only like 25, 30. 150% is a lot. So, Achilles Aspect actually works best with uh, casts, I think. There are, there are some definite attack builds, but uh, they are reliant on which hammers you see. But uh, I actually recommend Achilles more for going for a big, big cast build. It works with virtually every cast, um, but I think one of the best ones uh, might be Zeus's cast, oddly. Zeus's cast, which is called Electric Shot, it bounces from enemy to enemy and actually has a pretty low base damage. So when you're not using a fo uh, cast-focused aspect, it's not super powerful, but when you have 150% bonus damage, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy stuff. So you can see our cast deals 125. That's just a plain cast here, you know. I wish I could demonstrate for you the boons and the hammers here, but unfortunately we just don't have that capability right now. But yeah, I really recommend Achilles. So there's a couple things to note. So I think we just used up two of our four bonus damages, right? So if you throw your special again and you retrieve it again, you'd think that you might think that that would reset it, and I have four more bonus uh, buffs here. But watch, one, two, and now that animation's gone. So retrieving your special while you've already used up some of them actually does not reset it. So you want you have to be able to count how many of those buffs you've actually used up, kind of, to use it maximally. Of course, you know you can you can kind of just dance around and go crazy. You know, so one thing you could do is basically spear one, two, three, four. Make sure you go and retrieve that spear again and get that bonus damage buff back up again because that's the most important part with Achilles here. All right, so next we're going to go over Aspect of Hades. So I'm not going to lie, this is one of the weakest aspects I think we have in the game here, especially considering it costs a good amount of Titan blood to invest. I really don't recommend investing a lot of Titan blood into this. You might think that this is nice. Oh, this is a spin-based aspect. And in a sense, it is. But in other senses, it actually is not, unfortunately. So your spin attack becomes Punishing Sweep, which just means it's a bigger spin, basically. Uh, punishing bonus damage is 150%, which isn't dissimilar to Achilles. So if we read uh, punishing, sweep, punishing Sweep on the bottom right here, a huge spin attack that makes foes take more attack and special damage for 10 seconds. This sounds really nice, and actually there are ways to make this work pretty well. Um, the problem is the Punishing Sweep bonus damage does not affect your spin damage. So here, let's show this on Skelly. So we get a spin attack on him. You can see Skelly has this cool looking debuff, right? So let's do another spin on him. It's still only 100 damage. Meanwhile, the special, look at how much damage the special is dealing now. And then you can look at how much damage the attack is dealing now. So those are kind of nice, but the problem relies on... The problem lies within the spin itself. So spinning with a big group of enemies around you is just very dangerous. Just having to charge anything for this long. And you can kind of see there's a kind of a long animation at the end that you're dealing with here too with it you really got to be able to dash out of it in order to stay safe when you're trying to use that spin and then you have this time where you get this bonus damage and it's a good amount of time it is it is it's it's pretty nice how, how long it lasts 10 seconds is actually very long in when you think about it in respect to how fast paced this game is 10 seconds is not a short amount of time um so for this you actually might not want hammers that uh, buff your special your spin sorry um, you might think that's what you want to go with but actually no like quick spin is a nice one we'll go over those soon uh, but you actually want something that probably buffs your special or just your attack actually but we'll go over those in a minute overall I really don't recommend Hades aspect it's it's unfortunate really uh, the place that it's in for version 1.0 but I think it's it's kind of too narrow of a space kind of similar to Zag aspect where you kind of end up looking for these very certain things to get the build going and it's kind of hard to get them all right so lastly for the aspects we got aspect of guan yu you have frost fair blade but your health and healing are reduced max life and healing is minus 50 percent that is a very big downside it's a very very big downside but there are huge upsides to guan yu aspect so if you look over on the right you have a heavy attack you have an explosive special, which is important here, and you have a life-stealing spin attack. I think Guan Yu is actually the biggest uh, spin-based weapon aspect in the uh, spear lineup here. So if you wanted to go for a spin build, I'd actually recommend using Guan Yu over Aspect of Hades here. 
So let me show you the healing from this spin here. Uh, we can't, I can't actually display the healing, but you get one point of health for every tick from the spin that hits enemies, and that does stack based on how many enemies you're hitting. And with a full charge, the spin deals 50 damage per tick, and you're going to get one health back for each of those hits. So it's really not bad at all. You getting a certain hammers to buff up that spin is actually a nice strategy with Guan Yu. You just got to be extra careful here. So generally, your strategy would be to stay away charge up these spins and as enemies are following behind you you kind of just want to get these quick spins off maybe quarter or half spins charging up a full spin is pretty dangerous without certain hammer aspects the other really nice thing and this is sort of my focus when i try to play guan yu is to actually watch this special it's just so much nicer than the base spear special not having to retrieve the spear after you've already thrown it is actually an, a bit of an upside because we can just throw it and it deals much more damage. It's just so much faster, I think, here. And you can really get some nice hammers to uh, make this work even better and just kind of deal a lot of chunky damage uh, with it there. The only thing, the only other thing to mention about Guan Yu is uh, the his dash attack is fairly similar. It deals a little bit more damage than the other base spear. And then you have this really heavy looking attack. I'm not certain I'd recommend trying to do combo attacks with Guan Yu, like, we're, like you're seeing right here. I just wouldn't recommend it. You know, there's some uh, dash attack builds you can go for. You can do some uh, special builds and you can do some spin builds. I don't know about a flat out uh, attack combo build though, honestly. All right, folks. So next up, I have the hammers pulled up on the right here. We're going to go through every single hammer. I'm going to say what aspect they're going to work well with and why you'd want to see them and how you would use them basically in a build. I'm also going to be mentioning boons you might want to go for there at the same time. And I'm going to try to pull up those boons in, a, in some displays on the right as well. Uh, so first, we're going to go over extending jab. Your attack has more range and deals 40% more damage to distant foes. What that means is if you can hit uh, foes with the tip of the spear, you're going to deal some more damage with your attack. Um, this is a pretty good one. It's not it's not great. It's not amazing, but it works. Uh, it helps out. It helps keep foes away. You can kind of stagger lock them, and what I mean by that, continuously attack them if they don't already if they don't have armor on them, and they're not going to come and pound you in the face because you're able to just quickly keep them out of range and keep them staggered by continuously hitting them. Um, not much else to say about it. It's a decent pick if there's nothing else amazing in the lineup there from the hammer. You'd mostly want to use this with probably Achilles, I guess Hades, maybe Guan Yu. Uh, it's a, it's, I guess it's a backup for Zag Aspect if you get nothing to help out your special. But yeah, it's, it's sort of like one of those nice uh, uh, third picks, basically. Next up, we have Chain Skewer. So Chain Skewer, your special bounces to up to 7 foes, dealing plus 30% damage for each. It's an interesting one. Uh, if you were going to use this hammer i'd try it with zagreus aspect more than anything after that maybe hades aspect um it's not going to be compatible with guan yu there it's uh it's not as powerful as it might sound it might sound really nice at clearing rooms but the problem you're going to run into is when you throw the spear it's going to start bouncing around to different foes and it that takes time and in that time you're not going to have your spear uh, so it's going to be bouncing around like crazy, and you're just going to be running away, mostly, maybe throwing out a cast while you're waiting for the spear to land, and then you still have to retrieve it at the end also. Um, it, it's okay. It's it's worth maybe trying out, but I wouldn't call it a lifesaver. I would mostly avoid it, because it, it just makes things kind of strange over anything there. After that, we have Breaching Skewer. This is one of those uh, hammers that deals extra damage to armor it's it's a nice backup pick it's usually a nice second uh hammer upgrade if you're using zag or hades aspect here besides that you know it's not generally one you you want to take for your uh, first hammer if you already have a nice special hammer going with zag or hades aspect this is a nice one to complement that and that way you can strip that armor really good on enemies in elysium and sticks and it works pretty well there next up we have vicious gear your special deals 50 percent more damage, and you have a 50% chance of a critical strike while you're pulling that spear back. Um, unfortunately, Vicious Skewer just it just isn't good, I'm afraid. It, it sounds pretty good. It's like critical damage. Oh, that's really nice. But we're going to go over some anti-synergy it has with some other uh, hammers with a spear here. You could try it out with Zag Aspect, maybe Hades Aspect. 
but honestly, overall, I don't recommend it. I'd almost rather take Chain Skewer over it. Again, this mostly comes down to the fact that the base uh, Spear special move just isn't that great, and I just don't think the bonuses you get from Vicious Skewer are enough to make it that usable. Next up, we have Exploding Launcher. Now, this to me is going to be an S-tier pick, honestly. Uh, your special is replaced with a shot that deals 50 damage in an area. Might not sound that amazing, but that explosion is actually very, very large. It's enormous, really. And 50 base damage is actually very nice. So you'd want to pair this hammer with a high percentage boon. High percentage boons come from Athena, Aphrodite, Artemis for those big crits. Uh, Demeter is fine, too. And even Poseidon can work with Exploding Launcher pretty well here. You do not want to take gods that don't give you a percentage boost. I'm talking about Ares for Doom, I'm talking about Dionysus for Hangover, or Zeus especially for lightning damage, because this is a slow but chunky move. For slow and chunky moves, you want percentage-based boons. You don't want the other ones necessarily. Those are more for rapid hitting. Uh, so Exploding Launcher is just a really nice one. It, it'll destroy groups of enemies really quickly. And you can actually throw it fairly quick. Also, it kind of turns itself into Guan Yu's special move actually here. It's going to work best with, of course, Zagreus and Hades aspect. It's actually not compatible with Achilles or Guan Yu. You won't see it being offered with either of those aspects, but it works really, really well with the, both of the other aspects. It's actually the num my number one pick for Hades aspect. Um, if you're going to run Hades aspect, you got to try out Exploding Launcher Hammer with it because you can actually get some really cool looking numbers with it after a spin attack and you get those really beefy specials out there. Next up, we have Massive Spin. Your spin attack deals 125% more damage and hits a larger area. This is kind of a fun spin one. I'd actually recommend it most with Guan Yu. Like I said earlier, it's not going to do much for Aspect of Hades, really, because the spin attack is big enough as it is with Aspect of Hades. You don't really need a bigger spin, honestly. But it is kind of funny and cool to see still with it, so you could try it out. Overall, this hammer, I mean, there's not a lot of spin hammers here. It's a pretty low ranking for me. Uh, you could probably try it out if you've already taken the next hammer we're going to go over here, but otherwise, I, would, I wouldn't take it for your first, that's for sure. Uh, so next up, you have Quick Spin. Your spin attack charges and recovers much faster. This is actually the best spin hammer, I believe. This is actually a pretty nice pick. And then if you get it first, you, then you could try out taking Massive Spin second. Uh, this works fine with Aspect of Hades. It works really well with Guan Yu. You could even try it with Achilles there uh, for some bonus damage, but it is kind of hard to get spins to work even with the killies, I'm afraid. But this is sort of nice because I think one of the big things in the game of Hades here is animation time. Things that take a longer animation are uh, naturally more dangerous. The longer it takes to charge something or throw something or just uh, use an attack, the more dangerous it's going to be because that's more opportunities for the enemies to come hit you, interrupt you, and then you just lose out on that altogether. So quick spin makes spins much safer, and I think that's the best part about it. And it's actually a really fun and nice hammer to use and try out. Next up, we have Flurry Jab. Hold attack to strike rapidly, but you cannot spin attack. This is actually a really, really fun hammer to try out, and it actually works really well in a lot of ways. Uh, it, works, it works fine with Achilles. It works fine with Aspect of Hades. Um, not really recommended for Aspect of Zag because it's not focused on attacks there. But if you can, this is actually another way, kind of like Flurry Slash with the sword, where you could try using Zeus on your attack, which you wouldn't normally recommend. But get, considering how rapidly you're going to be attacking, Zeus can actually work pretty well with this. Uh, it's a it's a really nice uh, attack based hammer if you want to go for that. If you if that's what you like doing, it's it's a nice um I'd, I'd give it a, you know probably a, a B or an A rank even for the spear overall, honestly. So. It's nice if, you, even if you have a percentage-based attack boon still, it's it's a nice pick still. Next up, we have Charge Skewer. Hold special to charge your skewer for up to 200% more damage. So you're going to find a lot in these video guys that these charged uh, hammers that, that there is a theme to here actually work really well most of the time. The damage is multi multiplicative. That means that you're going to get uh, some really big numbers. So this transforms the spear special into something so much more powerful. It actually works best with uh, Aspect of Guan Yu here. 
because the base damage from the special with Guan Yu is already higher than the other aspects, and then you add charge score on top of it, you can get some really, really beefy numbers. Again, you want one of those percentage-based boons like Athena, Aphrodite, Artemis, etc., and that way you can get some really nice figures out of it. And not only that, but another added bonus that it doesn't really specify here with Charge Skewer is that you're, you can actually throw your special more rapidly after you get it. You don't have to charge it at all. You can just start chucking it out there very, very quickly instead and just rapidly throwing it. It's not like super rapid like Flurry Jab there, but it's, it is definitely faster than the, what the base is. And then when you have those opportunities to charge it, that works even better. This to me is an S tier pick along with Exploding Launcher. I think this makes both uh, Hades aspect and Guan Yu aspect work really well. It's great with Zag aspect too. And you can actually combo Charge Skewer with Exploding Launcher and it's crazy. It's, it's, it's actually really fun. I recommend trying trying that out very much so there. Moving on, we have Serrated Point. Your dash strike hits three times, but your dash has minus 20% range. So this is, I think it's actually 25% now with uh, version 1.0 coming out. But this is a sort of what I, you might describe as a glass cannon hammer here. And what, what I mean by that is great benefit, but there's also a detriment here too. So minus dash range actually makes certain aspects of the game much more difficult, namely some boss fights here. So not being able to get away from your enemies at, at the same pace you normally can is actually <laughs> very detrimental to the, your run in total. It makes things way dangerous, but it has this huge upside. Three dash strikes in one, your dash strike becomes enormous. It also doesn't really mention it here, but it actually increases the size of your dash strikes a bit too. And so you're gonna be dealing out lots and lots of damage. So you'd want an attack boon, again, more percentage based. Uh, so from Aphrodite, from Artemis, from Athena, uh, from Demeter, one of those gods basically, and you could just dash strike all over the place. You just have to be extra careful careful with this. I would almost classify this as S in terms of damage, but because of that downside, it's probably an A or a B for me. Because um, again, it just makes things so much more dangerous, I think. Lastly on our list here, we have Winged Serpent. Your Serpent Slash ability travels longer. This is the hammer upgrade that is specific only to Guan Yu. You can only see it with it. So that means that uh, when you charge up a spin and you unleash it, you get that um, you get that ranged spin that goes out toward the enemies. It's gonna last longer with Wing Serpent on. It's not a great hammer. I'm not gonna lie. It's just doesn't wind up being that useful. It's it's kind of okay if you're going for a spin build with Guan Yu, but I would so much rather have quick spin, honestly, and even maybe even a massive spin with it rather than Wing Serpent. I think those two just work better. But if you're if you already have a good attack boon going with Guan Yu and you don't get those two two other hammers, then it's not a bad pick, honestly. I'd probably give it a, a B or a C, perhaps. All right, guys, that does it for the spear hammers. I'm just gonna quickly go over some of the boons here. I'm gonna display them a little bit better on the screen for you now too. Uh, so with most of this spear aspects and even when you, after getting certain hammers, you're still going to want what I keep calling those percentage-based boons. Those come from Aphrodite, who has the highest percentage-based uh, boons. Artemis, who has a critical chance and is super powerful with the most things. And then you got Athena, who has a nice deflect on it too. Uh, I always recommend using Athena's dash if you're still just trying to get through the base game and just get your first or second win in. It just makes things very, very safe for you. And especially with the spear, which is much more melee based for most of it anyway, it's going to help out a lot there. Uh, Demeter is a fine pick too. She slows down enemies while also having that nice percentage buff to your attack or special there. And lastly is Poseidon. And actually, this is, I think, um, with the spear aspect, with some of the spear aspects, especially the uh, special ones, Poseidon can actually work really well. Uh, this is this is actually a place where you could use Poseidon on the special here with Guan Yu, for instance, and it's okay to knock back foes. This is fine because we don't need to be in melee range. This is now a place where we can use ranged attacks safely and knock back foes without being damaged ourselves by it and actually Poseidon's dash boon here would actually work really well too because you want to stay away from enemies uh tidal dash will actually keep enemies away from you as you dash around by knocking them back a little bit and it also deals a great amount of damage here too so that's going to work well 
so that does it for me for today guys stay tuned and we're gonna get move on to part three which is gonna be shield and all the boons hammers and aspects that come with that and if you haven't make sure you check out the stream guys www.dampdad.com i mean just check out this amazing content you're missing right now you know this hat is kind of fitting since alien is basically a dinosaur motherfucker can't believe it really so, all right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and a beautiful life, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye now.